everybody welcome back to my channel be your mommy bringing you health and wellness tips for your mind for your body and your soul your one-stop shop for nutrition fitness and lifestyle content let me help you become a healthier version of yourself today we're talking about how to work out consistently let's all be honest here Sticking to a workout schedule can be hard, especially when life gets in the way. It's like you wake up, you go throughout your day, and you're just like, yeah, this workout is not happening. But I have some tips to help you get through your workout slumps because sometimes we all need a little bit of motivation. Mm, 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 mm. Let me bring you on, let me be your motivation. You guys know that song? I hope so. But anyway, today I'm going to be giving you some workout motivation and some tips so we can all be consistent and get our fitness life. Okay. I have 10 tips for you guys. Okay, I'm coming at you heavy. So let's get into the first tip. The first tip is to actually do workouts that you have fun with and that you enjoy. Me personally, I'm going to use myself as an example. I do not like yoga. Yoga is not for me. When I do yoga, I do not feel at peace. It is not fun for me. So I don't do yoga. I simply do not do the workouts that I do not like because it's not sustainable over time. I'm someone that loves to dance. I love to move. I love to groove. So I do a lot of dance workouts. That's not all I do, but I make sure that dance workouts are a part of my workout week because I know that that's something that I'm always looking forward to. I know that's something that I'm really excited about. So really just incorporating workouts that you really have fun doing and you actually enjoy, you're gonna work out more consistently because you actually like it. Tip number two. Focus on a what I will gain mindset versus I have to get this done mindset. A lot of times when we work out, we think of it as a chore, something that we just need to hurry up, get through it, get it done, period, end of the story. But when you think about what you're gonna gain, things like energy, happiness, just feeling healthier, feeling lighter, that's something that's definitely going to motivate you and hold you accountable. It's not about just ticking off something off of your to-do list. Your workout should also provide you with a lot of different things that helps you become a healthier and stronger and just more happier version of yourself. Tip number three. Ooh, my three looking kinda, kinda weird here. Tip number three. All right, tip number three is to work out at your optimal time Everyone has a time where they feel like they have energy, where they have the most energy throughout the day, where their energy is on point. For me, that's the morning time. If I'm working out in the morning, I'm like the eye of the tiger. I'm getting it in, I'm going hard, and I'm really just gonna have a bomb workout. But let me not get let me not make it wrong here. Sometimes every workout's not always gonna be amazing, but everyone has that time of day where they feel like they're just like on the go. So you have to figure out, are you a morning person? Are you a night person? What time is your optimal time to get it in and to work out? Tip number four, switch it up, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not do the same workout over and over and over again. You're going to get bored. Your body likes to challenge yourself. It likes to evolve. So if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you're not going to get the results that you want. So it's important to switch up your workouts. Do kickboxing one day. Do dancing another day. Do a HIIT workout the following day. Switching it up also creates this um, feeling of excitement and just wondering, oh my goodness, what's going to come next? I'm so excited to get it in today. So it's really important that you just try out all different workouts and you'll start to realize what you like and what you don't like. Tip number five, start small and increase your workout frequency 
and toughness over time as your body gets stronger. Do not be out here trying to run 10 miles, girl, if you never even ran one mile, all right? We don't want our bodies to be forced into doing too much way too early on. You gotta start small, do 30 minutes a day, do a half a mile, build yourself gradually up to a mile, you are the master of your own body. You know your limit. You know how much your body can take. No one knows your body as well as you do. And that is your superpower. Tip number six, have accountability partners if possible. If you do not have an accountability partner, follow people who motivate you and inspire you to be a healthier version of yourself. Follow people that make you want to go get it in and get this work done, okay? It's really important that you have people in your circle that are like that. And if you don't have people in your circle that are like that, follow some people on YouTube. There's some really great channels out there. Or you can also use other social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram. And sometimes when you see those people, you're like, hmm, they're getting it in. You know what? I can get it in too. So... That would be my tip for you. On my social media, personally, I do follow a lot of fitness, um, I guess I would say like influencers, and they really inspire me to take it up a notch. Sometimes I'm just like, mm, I don't feel like working out today. And then I go on Instagram, I'm strolling, and I'm just like, ooh, you know what? I think I'm gonna change my mind because they are killing it right now. And you know what? I can kill it too, in my own way. So, yeah. Number seven, wear bright and cute workout clothes because how you look will set the mood and set the tone to get your workout on. Personally, for me, I know that when I'm wearing a really cute and really bomb workout outfit, I don't know, it just brings this um, ray of extra confidence, extra oomph to just get it in and be like, ooh, ooh. Yes, I got this. I look cute and I'm strong and I can do this. So those workout clothes would really just add an additional layer of, I feel good, I am good, I'm about to do this, I'm about to get it in. Workout tip number eight, just do it. Just do it like Nike. Sometimes, honestly, you just have to push yourself out the door you just gotta lace up your sneakers you just gotta load up that workout youtube video you just gotta get to the gym you just gotta do it because the longer you spend sitting on the couch or watching tv or worrying about your day you're not going to want to work out so sometimes you just need to just go for it get out there and get it done i trust you you will feel a lot better after it is done and over with Tip number nine, add music, podcasts, and or audiobooks to your workout routine. Sometimes all it takes is a workout song that really hits to get you in that right state of mind or a podcast that's super interested, interesting <laughs> that helps you to keep on going or an audiobook that's really, really excited that just makes you just tune out the pain a little bit and just makes your workout a little bit more enjoyable. Everyone has their preference of what they like to listen to when they're working out. So make sure that you make yourself a bomb playlist. Make sure you have a bomb book or a bomb podcast. The choice is completely up to you. You know yourself better than I ever will. So just make sure you have that on deck. It really, really helps, especially when you're going through the tough moments of your workout. I know for me, one of my favorite workout songs that always gets me in the mood is Lose Yourself by Eminem. I don't know what it is about that song, but when I hear Lose Yourself by Eminem, I'm just like, whew, I got that mentality of just swinging and getting it in. Like, I feel like a beast whenever I hear that song. So find your song, find your podcast, find your book that makes you feel like a beast because you are in your, your version of a beast, which is the best version that you could ever possibly be. Tip number 10, our last tip for today. 
a last tip for today. So tip number 10 is all about planning ahead of time. Planning ahead of time means having your workout gear laid out and ready to go. And it also means having that playlist ready, having that audio book ready, having that podcast ready. You know exactly what you want to listen to. And it also includes, if possible, if you're that type of person that likes to have a schedule of what workouts you're doing on what day, make sure you have that planned out too because when your workout week is planned it leaves minimal room for not being consistent and it also leaves minimal room for error and it also just helps you to just prepare yourself a lot more if you have a hit workout on monday you already have that mentality going and your body is ready those are all the tips that i have for how to work out consistently. I hope that this video really helped you. I hope that it gave you some motivation. And thank you so much for watching as always. If you are not subscribed to Vegan Mani, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back. Hit that subscribe button right now. And while you're at it, also hit that notification button so you are notified each and every single time that I post. I upload videos every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So you do not want to miss this content. Once again, my content is always about nutrition, fitness, and lifestyle related topics. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye and get your workout motivation on. You got this, let's go.